Well guys, this is my Flow Hive Super that I've designed to match up with my Bee Barn style hive. And if you've seen my other videos, then you've seen the build out of the Bee Barn hive with the lid that stays on year round. I decided to use a Flow Hive Super um, because I really loved what I saw from the guys over at Flow Hive. I love the idea of being able to harvest honey without being super intrusive to the bees and being able to do it without all the additional extraction equipment that you need. So once I knew that I wanted to be able to use a Flow Hive and I love the idea of the, the insulated bee barn style hive, then it just came down to how do I put the two together? And so this video, I'm gonna show um, how those two go together and some of the extra features that I built into this Flow Hive Super. So for me, one of the things that's really enjoyable about um, building out this hive is trying to find ways to build in all the functionality that I possibly can into it. And so a few of the features that I have built into this super are uh, hinged connections here where on the traditional flow hive super you just have um, like a little latch that holds uh, the piece of board in place. I really love the idea of having it hinged so I could very easily open um, the hive up to function uh, and it would keep all of the, the pieces and parts together. I never had to worry about them falling apart. So the flow hive frames themselves, uh, as I pull this one out to show you here, um, I think are the most innovative thing we've seen in beekeeping in hundreds of years, um, if not longer. Um, and there, there's tons of videos online that really go in depth on how these flow hives work, how these flow frames work. So as you guys can see here, there are alternating plastic slats that make up the honeycomb pattern. Um, and if you really look closely in this picture, you can see that the bees have started to build up uh, propolis and wax in between the little gaps um, between the two slots. As they continue to build that out, they will build the front of that comb out um, deeper to the point where it comes out nice and even and they can cap it easily. Once they've capped over uh, the honey in these frames, just like in any other honeycomb, then you know it's ready for harvesting. The way you harvest with a flow frame is there's a key that goes in the top of the frame. And when that key is turned, it moves every other one of those plastic slats so that you get an alternating pattern like this. That allows the honey to flow down through the comb, thus flow hive, and come out the bottom through a tube um, directly into your honey jars. So one thing that you absolutely always need to use when using a flow hive is a queen excluder. And so I've actually mounted my queen excluder solidly to the bottom of my super here, just to ensure there's no chance that that queen's ever gonna get up in, into that super and start laying eggs in there. Um, because once that happens, um, being able to harvest honey out of it goes completely um, away until you can get all of that brood out of the super. So here you can see the process as I bring the Flow Hive Super out to the hive um, to get it mounted on top and under that lid. So here I've got the lid off. I do have my plexiglass um, top cover on there. Um, that'll come off and go on top of the super. Um, as you see here, now the super in place with the cover on top. I like using the plexiglass because it allows me to uh, view the bees um, without disturbing them as much as possible. Um, that's why I built the plexiglass uh, window into the side of the super here as well. It turns it into a little bit of an observation hive. Okay. 
I noticed that I was getting some bees up into the super, but not as many as I would like. Um, so I did take a few frames out and add in some um, beeswax here right under the frame just to, uh, you know, help them feel comfortable with um, building that out just the same as you would with any um, plastic foundation. Well guys, that's it for today. If you want to see more content and what I'm doing with my bees, please like and subscribe to the channel and we will see you later.